Earlier tonight at 6, we told you about efforts of a local organization partnering with a shelter in Texas to bring around 100 dogs to Fort Wayne. Many volunteers were upset last night when the dogs arrived. News Channel 15's Kaitor Pessoa has been gathering more information tonight, including an area rescue shelter directi director who's not happy. The rescue the animal shelter in Abilene, Texas, needed to free up space to host animals affected by Hurricane Harvey. So, the shelter transported the dogs to Fort Wayne. But some think this transport could have ran much better. I was the very first one to open the, the box truck, and it was tempt. We had a temp gun, it was 121 degrees. Joshua Braden was disgusted. He had been waiting patiently for hours to welcome these shelter dogs from Texas to Fort Wayne, only to be shocked by the poor conditions they were driven in. He wasn't the only one who felt this way. I'm real angry. Um, I'm real upset. Six of the dogs were taken away immediately by the sheriff's department to get emergency medical attention, um, meaning that their lives were in imminent danger. Hot, dirty, and sickly. That's how the large group of volunteers described the box truck that nearly 100 dogs were transported in. Their job was to clean, feed, and walk the dogs after their 30 hour plus trip, which was coordinated by Rescue the Animals and Growl. The dogs are now being transported to different shelters across the region. Director of Lennox's Legacy Rescue in Decatur, Katie Wilson, says they've received four chihuahuas, but illegally. And that was for their vetting, their initial vetting. I know our dogs that came up here were not transported with USDA certificates health certificate saying it was safe for them to travel. And she doesn't approve of how the dogs arrived. I believe with the amount of money that was raised, those dogs should have never been transported in an enclosed enterprise rental van. No animal should ever be transported inside an enclosed vehicle with no air conditioning, no access to fresh air. She and the volunteers gladly welcomed the dogs, but hope in the future these transports are conducted with much more consideration for the health of the dogs. I'm definitely glad these dogs are here. You know, there's plenty of people around, around this area that would be more than happy to adopt these dogs. The Allen County Sheriff's Office is conducting an investigation on the transport. A sheriff's deputy took six dogs because of their poor health. We reached out to both organizations involved in the transport, but they have not returned our phone calls or messages. In Studio 15, Kaitor Pessoa, News Channel 15.